Hey guys, welcome to, back to uh, Tyler Maxwell's chemistry class. Um, today we're finishing off chapter 6, which is thermochemistry, calorimetry, with my very famous, most favorite Game of Thrones calorimetry problem. Now, this problem uh, is kind of difficult, but it employs all of our favorite calorimetry rules that we've learned and it shouldn't be too hard for us to solve. So let's uh, look at it together. So first off, Jon Snow fights a dragon. You know, fighting a dragon, dragons breathe fire. Gotta heat up your sword some. So after fighting a dragon, Jon throws his sword into a pool of water and the hot sword causes the pool of water to heat up and it heats the pool from 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. So John's a, a bit of a scientist himself and he knows his sword weighs 4 kilograms. Um, so what was the temperature of his sword? So that's what John wants to know. What is the temperature of his sword? So he knows the heat capacity of Valerian steel there at 0.12 uh, joules per gram degree Celsius and the heat capacity of water. So basically what's happening here is all of the energy that the sword had was being transferred to the pool of water. So if we know how much energy is transferred to the pool of water, then we could know how much energy that the sword had, thereby we could solve what was the temperature of the sword. The more energy that the sword had, the higher the temperature it would be. So first off, how much energy was transferred to the pool of water? So we want to use our Q is equal to MC delta T equation, where Q is energy, M is mass, C is heat capacity and delta T is change in temp. So we can plug in our uh, mass, so 30 liters, so that's 30,000 milliliters and at one gram Per milliliter that's 30,000 grams. So our mass is 30,000 our C is just heat capacity for water and then our delta T change in temperature so it went from 25 to 30 so 30 minus 25 so it's going to be equal to the amount of energy that the sword lost. So this amount of energy is the amount of energy that the water gained when the sword was thrown into it. So this is going to be equal to the amount of energy that the sword lost. So that's where we put a negative there. So we're using the same equation, Q is equal to MC delta T, but for the sword now, the mass of the sword is 4 kilograms, so it's 4,000 grams. Our C for the sword is 0 0.12. And then our delta T, well we don't know what the initial temperature is, but the final temperature is the same as the water. Because the sword is in the water, so it's in thermal equilibrium with the water. So we, we know what the T final is, 30. But we don't know what the T initial is. That's what we're solving for. What was the initial temperature? So you could put that as X, put that as T initial. But that's what we're solving for, T initial. So basically we have an algebra equation that we just have one variable, initial t uh, temperature, which what is the what, what was the sword initial temperature. So we can just multiply all of this guy out and then move our um, 4,000 and times 0 0.12 over here. So basically we get 
thirteen zero six is equal to negative um, thirty plus the initial temperature because I took this negative and I just distributed it there. So plus thirty. 1336 equals the initial temperature. So it's 1336 degrees Celsius. So there you go, guys. Jon Snow's sword, 1336 degrees Celsius after he fought that dragon. And you have my very famous uh, Game of Thrones most favorite problem. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, give it a like, thumbs up. Uh, comment let me know what you guys want to see in terms of videos if you want me to work more problems if you want me to talk more about the background the theory stuff like that just let me know um, send me a message if you have any questions on anything all right see you guys